Welcome to Labatea Garden. We provide organic fruits and vegetables and natural beauty to 25 homeless young adults who are getting their feet on the ground here at Labatea Youth Home. Today, I'd like to tell you about some friends of mine, the leaf miners. They're probably in your garden too. So we'll talk about our friends, the leaf miners, and what you can do to control them. With hand picking, with encouraging predators, and with floating row cover. We're searching for the tiny white eggs inside the leaves. Here's one. I brush it off, but I've noticed there's already a bit of damage to the leaf, so it's already hatched. I'm just going to take that, smash it between my fingers, and let it dry out in the sun. Here's a leaf with much more ex extensive damage. Let's hold it up to the sun and see if we can see the maggots in there. We'll tear the leaf open and meet our friends. There they are. That's a leaf miner maggot. And Ew. that's how you get rid of them. If you wanted to, you could eat that. But we're not that hungry. So that's manual control. It's easy and if you like hunting, it's fun. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you can catch those flies, then you don't have to chase after the maggots. Anything that eats flies will eat um, leaf miner flies. We make sure we keep lots of flowers around, especially small white flowers. A lot of uh, predatory wasps will come to these flowers for nectar and then when they want a meat meal they'll eat the next fly they can catch. We also do what we can to encourage spiders in the garden. Spiders of course catch flies. There's one more strategy for controlling leaf miners. It's the nuclear option. It really works but you pay a heavy price. Floating row cover is a very thin white cloth. A lot of sunlight goes through it, but insects don't. There's one more option, and that's using organic sprays like neem oil. Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well. You're trying to spray on the outside to get an insect that's on the inside of the leaf. So that's our strategies for growing healthy organic chard at Labatea Youth Home and dealing with our friends.